Hey everyone, Miss Gibbs here. Now that we have finished coloring, we are going to move on to the next part of our project, which is gluing down these black strips of construction paper. But first, we need to be able to measure how long we need them to be so that they cover the lines that we drew with the pencil to get our squares and rectangles. So we can do that two ways. We can estimate how long we think we need the piece to be, or we can measure the strips by lining them up and marking them with a pencil and then cutting them to fit. So let's try that out. But we want to make sure that each of these lines are covered with the black strip of construction paper. And you'll see here, I am applying some glue and watch the way that I am doing this. This is how you don't want to apply the glue. This way isn't very efficient. You can do it this way, but it's more likely to get all over your hands. So you could try it the other way that I'm going to show you in just a second. So you will make sure that you are lining up the end of your black construction paper with the end of your paper to cover the line. But you see that part there that's not all the way to the edge? That's okay. We can fix that later. So if that happens, don't worry about it. Again, this is the way you don't want to apply the glue. I'm showing you what not to do, but I will show you how to make it easier. This is the easier way to apply the glue, painting it right on the line that's on the paper where the two colors meet each other. And if you have a section that goes right to the end, you can put the black construction paper over multiple lines if the line goes all the way across, like mine did there. So the easy way to glue is to just paint right onto the paper, the glue paint, we call it. See right there, I was estimating. I said, hey, I think that piece will probably fit. So I'm gonna see, does it fit there? Oh, and now I'm, I'm just kind of estimating, guessing which strip is going to fit where I'm like oh yes that will fit there but let me mark it with a pencil and make a line so i know where to cut that's even better than just cutting it so here i am marking with my pencil and then checking after i cut to make sure that the piece that i just measured and cut fits where i'm, I'm placing it now you see here that spot that's missing, we can easily fix that by just placing a piece of black construction paper over it either um, going up and down or going across or maybe even going across a wider section there like I'm doing and that will cover it right up. So here is a slowed down version of how to measure it. See, I'm lining up my pencil mark right at the end of that paper. And then that's the line that I'm going to cut with the scissor. Then I'm going to double check to make sure that my piece is big enough for where I am gluing it down. Now that I know that it's big enough, I can go ahead and apply my glue and glue it down. And there we go. We are going to keep on 
measuring or estimating all of the lines that we have on our artwork. And here is another slow-mo version of how to measure that line that we are going to put. See, I'm lining it up and seeing where the edge of the paper is. And then I'm taking my pencil and marking it right at the edge. And then cutting on the line that I just made. That's telling me how long that strip of construction paper needs to be to fit in that spot. And then I double check to make sure that it does fit there. And yes, it does. And now I can go ahead and apply the glue. Measuring is even better than just guessing, but if you have an extra piece that's already cut, there's no harm in, in estimating checking. Does it fit here? If it does, great, glue it down. If it doesn't, you can measure, mark, and cut it. Oh, there is another spot that didn't quite reach the edge, so I'm using a piece of construction paper to cover it up, measuring it, cutting it, and gluing it down. 